Hi, air sign. What's good? We're doing your June 17, 2018. This is your daily reading. I had to lose my shawl today, y'all. It was a little bit too hot. Okay, so let's see what's popping. If you ordered a reading, thank you so much for your patience. I am getting to them as fast as I can. I appreciate you. Anything that you need is going to be in the description box below. I promise you it was there. Please believe me. All right. So let's, please, let's see what's popping for my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for today, June 17, 2018. Let's see what's popping. I lost my quartz, y'all. I feel like so naked. I lost my quartz, but it's all good. Buy me another one. I got my frankincense though, so it's all good. Let's see what's popping. Gemini, Libra, and Aqua. I'm gonna shuffle. I just saw the Four of Swords. A lot of you guys are meditating, okay? Feeling relaxed, resting, and recovery. Could be recovering from surgery as well. Let's see what's popping. And another note. <laughs> Okay, overall energy, we have the Prince of Cups. Who is this Prince of Cups? Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, could be a younger water sign as well, or you are the younger sign with water in your chart. Okay, but let's let's get it popping. Let's see what else. We have the energy of the Ace of Wands. Okay, exciting new beginning, something new, a new opportunity here. The, thumb, the thumbs up, the green light, you have the go. We also know that this is also a phallic symbol, okay? So new sex, good sex, okay, with a grown man, all right? Um, let's see what else is popping. You have the emperor in the reverse. Aries energy, okay, very controlled here, but I feel like this is letting go of control issues, letting go and letting God here, okay? This is also too feeling out of control in the situation, okay? Feeling out of control, feeling distant. All right. Let's see what else. We have the energy of the Five of Swords. Mm. What is going on here? All right. Overall energy is the Prince of Cups. So you could be dealing with a uh, water sign and an Aries today. Okay. Could be dealing with a boss as well, an asshole boss as, at that. All right. This could, um, but the Prince of Cups, we all know, is the equivalent of the Page of Cups. Okay. So a new offer, offer of love. Okay. Flirting. Um, this is like the beginning stages of a relationship. Flirting, feeling, feeling getting. This is very airy, very light, very lighthearted. Okay. Very free loving energy here. Free spirit. Very youthful energy here as well. Like we all know the Prince of Cups is fine. He smells good. He got a goatee. Okay. Very deep, very intense, very secretive as well. Okay. Scorpio energy here could be dealing with a Scorpio but I feel like somebody I feel like too this Scorpio whoever this Prince of Cups is he is a, this is a youth this is a younger sign this is a younger person in your life or it could be you um what this person could be a snake but this represents Kundalini energy okay somebody who's vibrating higher trying to raise their vibration here all right high vibes all right but new opportunity here all right something new and when I could because because the Scorpio was here and the Ace of Wands, and I feel like this is this is pertaining to sex. It could be okay because Scorpio is our eighth house. Our eighth house is our sex. Scorpio rules the genitals. All right. This uh, Prince of this Prince of Cups could be flirting with you. Okay, giving you something today. All right, making you feel good, giving you some compliments. But I feel like you feel you feel out of control in a situation. You could be dealing with a boss that's just really bitchy today. All right. You could be at a new job as well, okay? Maybe you're at a new job and you meet somebody, you meet this Prince of Cups there and he's flirting, okay? Y'all just chatting it up, all right? He giving you compliments, charming, all right? But with the Five of Swords, it's like this person is dead. I feel like this person lost something. Like this is like a not like a KO here. I, it reminds me, it reminds me of like those uh, body outlines when somebody dies, okay? That's what it looks like here. <laughs> Okay, but the five of swords, what is our fifth house? Our fifth house is our house of creativity, our house of children, our house of fun, our house of romance, okay, our house of affairs, okay? Well, we all know that five uh, fives are challenges, okay? Obstacles, okay, shifts, uh, sudden changes here, okay? I feel like you're facing some challenges here. You could be, I feel like somebody's, you could be going to a funeral today I'm hearing too. All right, with the pentacle, the five of swords, but see, this person is laying on a pentacle, 
He's laying on a pinnacle here, okay? He could be doing some magic here, okay? Wishing for some money, all right? Let's see what's popping. Get some clarity here, all right? But all in all, you have a new opportunity today. Are you, and how the opportunity is there, you have to take it, all right? The opportunity is going to present itself, but you have to take it, all right? Period, dot. That's how it works. But it is there for the taking. You do have the green light, all right? So if you have a question, if you have a question about something, the answer is yes. If you have a question about this Prince of Cups, the answer is yes. If you have a question about this Aries, the answer is yes, okay? You have the green light. You have the go, all right? This could be a new business endeavor as well, okay? But I feel like you could be arguing with someone today, somebody who's very stubborn, okay? You could be feeling very out of control here, getting into petty fights, petty arguments, because before the five of them, um, the six of swords is after the five of swords. The six of swords is moving on, okay? Calming down, calming yourself, okay? Moving forward, okay? Into something more calm. So I feel like you could be arguing with somebody today, having an argument. Let's see why the Ace of Wands is here, okay? The Emperor is in the reverse, you could just be having a really hard time at your job or in your business today as well. Maybe somebody is distracting you from work. You just can't concentrate. All right. That could be the case as well. Could be an Aries that's very intrusive, evasive here. All right. Let's see why the Aries. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Good shit. Okay. New opportunities. This is destiny here. Okay. You're on top of the Wheel of Fortune. What goes around comes around, right? You have a new opportunity. Let's see what it's about. You could have a new opportunity with one of these two gentlemen here. All right. I feel like with, with the Prince of Cups and the, the Emperor right under it, I feel like I feel like this Prince of Cups is making you feel out of control, making you feel weak, making you feel vulnerable. Or you could be doing this to, to this person, all right? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have the uh, Ace of Swords in the reverse. You have, okay, air sign, you have a new opportunity, in mind, but you might not quite understand it yet. This could be a new job. Okay, maybe you're training today. You just don't quite understand the job yet. It's not clear to you yet. You don't you don't have the clarity that you need yet, okay? But the opportunity is there. I feel like you're going to take this opportunity too. You might not understand the opportunity right now, okay? But I, I would still take it, okay? You don't have all the answers yet, but that's okay. It's all good. It's destiny. It's here for you, okay? But something about this new opportunity or this or some this sexual endeavor is not clear to you. You're like, hmm, I'm not, I'm not quite understanding this right now, okay? But it is destined. It is destiny, okay? With the, uh, the emperor, we have the page of cups, all right? So we have the page of cups twice, essentially, okay? Because we um, we have the equivalent, all right? Yeah, I feel I feel like somebody, I feel like your emotions are out of whack today a little bit, okay? You could be starting a new job, not really sure how to do the job, feeling overwhelmed by the new training, okay? Over, overwhelmed by people there, okay? But I feel like, see, when the when the page of the page of cups to me is like a womanizer, someone who's a sweet talker, someone who's a charmer. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries that's a sweet talker, a charmer, someone who's very vulnerable when you come around. Okay, someone who does not know how to uh, express their emotions, someone who completely ignores their emotions altogether. Really, all right. Even though their emotions are there, they ignore them. They try to pretend like the emotions are not there. But I feel like somebody here is getting emotional and it's making them feel out of control, making them feel vulnerable, making them feel very weak. All right. Somebody, somebody cannot concentrate at work today. If you are an entrepreneur, you're going to have some trouble today at work concentrating. All right. You could be feeling very emotional. Maybe it's your clients. Okay. Your clientele, your employees, people working under you. All right. Giving you the fucking blues. It could be, this could be a child as well. It could be your child. All right. I'm seeing twins here. All right. Could have twin boys. One of them is acting up, acting out, all right? Being a little asshole, okay? Why is the print page of cups here? Yeah, wow, we have the queen of swords. This is your energy. This is, well, this is air energy, uh, uh, Libra. Yeah, I feel, I, you know what? You know what I'm hearing? I feel like you're telling somebody off today, air sign, and it's, it's making them weak. It's making them feel this big because you're telling somebody off. You're keeping it 100 with somebody today. No holes, no bars. You, uh, using your logic, being a professional, Okay, and it's making somebody feel very weak, too. Somebody could be telling you off, too, but this is air energy here. All right. You have two swords here as well. We have the Ace of Swords and we have the Queen with her swords. We have seven swords here total. We have seven swords here total. All right, so something could be going on behind the scenes that you're unaware of. Somebody could be sneaking around doing something sneaky. You could be strategizing today, trying to figure some shit out. With the uh, seven of swords in total here, our seventh house is our relationships, okay? 
you could feel like somebody is lying to you, trying to find some clarity, asking some questions, being a professional, being logical, head over heart. Like, what's really good? What's going on? All right. You could be talking to your son today as well, questioning them. All right. But I feel like you're I feel like you're talking to someone and it's like making them feel small, making them feel little, crushing somebody's ego. Not in a bad way, but just like because you're so honest. All right. Too close for comfort. Shit. But I feel like something is un something is unclear and you're questioning somebody about it. About a new opportunity, about sex, all right? You could be questioning somebody about cheating today, like, you know, questioning somebody's motives, all right? Why is the five of swords here? I'm still confused. Okay, we have the seven of wands in the reverse. All right. So somebody somebody is arguing with you today. You're going to somebody's arguing there's going to be some type of battle some um, battle of wits, okay? And I feel like somebody is getting rejected here. Somebody is admitting defeat. Somebody's giving up the somebody's giving up. Somebody don't have time for it. I feel like it's you, air sign. Somebody's trying to nitpick. Somebody's trying to nag, have a pointless fight with you, okay? On some petty shit. You're like, "You know what you that's you got that. I don't have time to argue with you over stupid stuff." Period. I feel like this is somebody that you rejected in the past. Somebody, somebody that you have rejected is trying to come back and argue with you, play tit for tat, but you just don't have time for it. Like, you are the queen of swords. Like, I don't have time. Like, you will cut somebody out so quick with the quickness without even thinking twice. That's what the queen of swords does. You don't have time for the games. She do not have time. It will cut you off with a smile, too. <laughs> Real shit. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, some... You, something something here is not what it appears to be and you know it you can feel it it's like like we like i said we have seven swords here total sneaking around lying deceiving okay strategizing somebody trying to get away with some shit but something is not what it appears to be you feel like somebody's hiding something from you this could be a cancerian okay like i said this is how this is how i read the moon card one's a wolf and one's a dog but they can they can easily be be mistaken for the other so something is not what it seems to be something is not what it appears to be okay somebody might might appear to be a wolf but really they're a bitch or they're a dog and vice versa okay so something is not what it seems and i feel like you're questioning someone you're cutting somebody off okay maybe somebody's being very immature you know you know somebody i feel like you know some like somebody could be trying to somebody could be trying to apologize to you today but it's like underhanded okay it's like an underhanded apology i want to get one more card here for the emperor in the reverse like you are calling somebody out on their shit okay and somebody cannot handle that because somebody is too immature emotionally yes yeah, the night of the night of pentacles yeah i feel like some i feel like somebody is reaching out to you today wanting to make you an offer okay but they're being stagnant they're being a procrastinator on the fence here this is but this is this this the nine of pentacles is very reliable okay someone who plans shit out before they do shit but they take too long to make a decision it's more planning than action okay and i feel like somebody is coming to you with some bullshit trying to you know just not like a stalemate but it's kind of like not really saying what they mean but you see right through that shit okay like, I feel like somebody might call you, like, okay, somebody might call you today. Might might be a new opportunity to talk to somebody that you've been involved with. This Prince of Cups is, um, I have an Aries here, real strong, could be in a Cancerian. But you're like, hmm, why are they, why are they contacting me? Why are they communicating with me? Like, who, like, it, or it could be somebody communicating with you that you don't even know. Like, somebody texting you out the blue that you don't want to text you. Like, why are you, like, really? Why are you texting me? Like, what are you texting me for? For real? Why are you contacting me for what? What are you contacting me for? It could be somebody you only want to hear from. You got to cut them off. You got to cut their communication, block them, tell, tell them off. Okay? Because whatever, whatever they're saying to you is not what it appears to be. Something is off here. Something is real. Let me get one more card. I need more clarity for this. Like, what the, what the fuck is this communication about? What is this about? You could be dealing with the earth sign too. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I feel like somebody wants to make you an offer, but they're like on the fans, kind of like, kind of like playing around too much. Like, but just like, just get to the fucking point. Like, that's what, that's what I'm hearing. Get to the point. What's your point? Like, okay, get, get to it. You wasting my time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We have the Ace of Rides again. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like somebody here. Wow. You know what, what I'm hearing? Let me see what, let me see what the hidden influences are. Damn. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, this is what I'm hearing, air sign. I feel like somebody's going to contact you. Okay, somebody is going to contact you, acting like they want to make an offer, like they want to offer you something stable. But really, their motives is if they have sexual motives. 
the reason for contacting you, the reason for reaching out to you is sexual. They're sexually attracted to you. They want sex. We have the Ace of Wands here twice. Okay, then we have we have we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So it's like your motives ain't right. Somebody somebody got some fucked up motives. All right. Or somebody could be ask somebody could be wanting money or needing money, okay? Asking you for money. All right. The hidden influence is the ace of pentacles. Hmm. Let me get let me get one more card. What the fuck? Why is the moon here? Something is something is not what it appears to be. Like stay be very be very very vigilant. Be very vigilant today because somebody's going to come you're going to get some communication. It's going to it's going to be just be very vigilant. This is this is confusing. Yeah, the full the full card in the reverse. I feel like it's going to be a false start. Like somebody wants somebody is somebody is coming off like they want to they want to give you something up uh, uh, practical something stable they want to start something new with you they want to take it slow but really they're trying to rush you they want to have sex they want sex from you they they got this person whoever this person is you're dealing with they got their mo their motives not right they head not in the right place here and I think you know that shit because you're gonna be questioning asking asking questions grilling them like really why are you calling me though what you calling me for. Like you can you can hear you can tell you can tell by the conversation it's not genuine okay somebody has been inauthentic here let's see what your guidance is if somebody somebody wants some money all right or somebody could be trying to use money somebody could be trying to offer you money but really they they got ulterior motives here somebody got ulterior motives for for, uh, for communicating with you all right like whatever it is it's, it's not it's in off it's not off it's disingenuous shit period that. What is your guidance for today? Mm -hmm. And I might, they, they might try to start a fight with you, a petty argument to knock you off your game because they try to, it's like like misdirection, like a damn magician, misdirection, all right? But you the queen of swords, though. You ain't got time for that. You have blossoming, all right? You are just getting started. You have, so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. This could be with a job or I feel like it's about this person here. Somebody is trying to rush you into something before you're ready for it. But I feel like, I feel like you already know what's up. You know what's up though. You too you're too intelligent. All right, but somebody is trying to rush the process. Okay? Uh fucking uh what what's the word? Um I don't know. The chickens before they hatch or some shit. Pick the damn flowers before they bloom. Something. Somebody's trying to rush the process with you or rush a relationship with you, rush sex with you and you're like, "What are your what are your intentions with me?" All right, real shit. Okay, Air Signs, I hope this helps you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram. Follow me on IG at Astro Queen. Thank you.